Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and today we will answer another question from our YouTube subscriber and his name is uh, Taras Zelensky. Taras Zelensky asked me what is the maximum angle or angle of luminaires? Uh, is it 65 or 70 degrees? So Taras is asking for sports lighting design because he watched my football lighting design techniques video. So if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe so you will not miss any video tutorials like this again. Okay, so let's go on and answer his question. So Taras, your question is very easy. The angle or the maximum angle of the floodlight is uh, 70 degrees i said that because this is based on the where is it based this is based from ilp or from the institute of lighting professionals i think this is from the british standard or uk standard so this ilp said you can actually download this uh, guidelines here you go this is a pdf file I'll give you the link later to download this one. It says here, uh, this is a guidance, okay, this is a guidance notes for the reduction of obtrusive light. So you must know what is the meaning of, of, of obtrusive light. Okay, it says here on the page number, uh, yes, I think it's, yeah, here, it's page number three. For the installation of the floodlight here, it says keep glare to a minimum by ensuring that the main beam angle of all lights directed towards any potential observer is not more than 70 degrees. So it means that is the highest or the maximum angle that you can do for your floodlight. Unfortunately, since I'm working with a golf course projects and golf course projects needs lots of verticals especially along the fairway because you know those little golf ball is flying 20 to 50 meters height from the ground so you you should know or the player or the golfer should see the ball flying even if it's a night time so at least you have a spill light uh, spill light to the air uh, and to have that uh, you need to aim your floodlight a little higher than 70 degrees sometimes and other football field or football stadium they have some limitations of the height of the poles so sometimes they increase the angle into up to 75 degrees yeah so it depends but according to this ilp notes or guidelines 70 degree max is the maximum for the floodlight aiming uh, but it depends sometimes on the situation because you can go farther than that don't just uh, follow this one because sometimes uh, you can go for 75 degree but make sure it's not glary to the opposite side for example the opposite side is a desert like sometimes in dubai there's no uh, residential area around the sports field or on that part side of that uh, stadium so maybe you can aim sometimes so it depends on the situation if you are in the middle of the city of course please reduce the glare especially the surrounding area but if you are in the not so residential area then maybe you can adjust it a little higher all right so uh what is your name again uh, yeah taras i hope you learned something today please download these guidelines you will learn a lot of thing a lot of uh, stuff or lighting design uh, information about this uh, pdf file I use this one also for my landscape uh, ebook and facade lighting course techniques and facade lighting ebook. So this is one of my reference for that upcoming books of mine. Okay, see you again on the next video tutorial. And if you want to learn more, visit my YouTube channel. Enroll my uh, enroll lighting design courses in my Udemy courses here. And also, if you want to be my friend, just go and visit my Facebook page, Nel Karoko. And I'll give some uh, coupons or discounts on that page if you are my friend. Don't worry, I'll accept you, even if you're a bad guy, as long as you are a lighting designer. Okay, see you again next time. Bye!